A lot of you people are wondering probably, why are you agnostic? Now, I am agnostic for a lot, agnostic for a lot of reasons. The main reason is, you cannot prove there is a God, where at the same time you cannot prove there is not a God. So therefore, both sides have had it difficult in trying to put their methodology across. So therefore, you have religions which state there is a God. Some believe in monotheistic gods, like, for example, Christianity. We've got Islam. And we've got Judaism. They're the main sort of branches of what would be known as Abrahamic religions. And then we have uh, basically polytheistic go uh, sort of gods, which is like the Egyptian system, or for that matter, like the Greek or the Roman system, where they had lots of gods. Um, another problem is, uh, well, being an uh, agnostic, I'm not atheist, uh, it means you can dismiss atheism because atheism just goes outright and says it's a lie, it's not true, I don't believe any of it, whereas we kind of take the value where it's half and half, it's more of a balance. And I think if you've got an attitude towards a balance, you have a lot more acceptance for both of them instead of having not acceptance for one but not the other or you choose science over God and this can sometimes lead people to having problems and philosophical debates with their friends, family and even just work colleagues or stuff like that. I don't feel you should be arguing about these sort of issues. Another reason why I support agnosticism is because agnosticism, you can research thousands more as an agnostic than you can as, say, a, what do you call them, an atheist. The reason being is because atheists only focus on science and sort of atoms or, I don't know, molecules or even just chemistry, physics or biology. They can just only analyse it from that perspective. And religious people can only ex analyse it from the holy books, like the Quran, the Bible, the Torah, whatever. Get you right? But if you're agnostic, you can take more information in to form a judgement, which I think is a very, very good methodology, because not enough people have been reading every source of information. And even other than Christianity and the main Abrahamic religions like Islam and Judaism, there is oh, thousands of religions to read into, like Egyptian, Greek, Roman, you could look at Olaim, you could even look at Celtic, the early Celtic religions, the early Celtic church, paganism, witchcraft, Wicca, Satanism, the list is endless, I mean, you don't have to believe in them, but you can educate oneself into knowing about them, which causes more, sort of, acceptance. Another reason I'm agnostic is because there's never really been a god that has appeared where at the same time nobody has really proved science has started the Big Bang either. They may have theories for their evolution, but who's to say there is a figure behind the evolution as well? See, these arguments can lead people astray and I don't know I think the problem nowadays is people tend to take one or the other and I don't, and they see it simply as just black or white and I don't think we should see it as black or white, we should see it as more of a multicultural, or not multicultural, a multi-identity sort of idea and I think that is the main reason I support agnosticism, I think that's one of the main reasons I support it. Um, I'm entitled to hear everybody's opinion, so if you want to write in your comments, say uh, I don't agree with you here, or I don't agree with you there, or I agree with this, or I agree with that. I'm happy with that, and I'm glad that people are constructive and they're using their criticism, because we need criticism 
of both religion and of science or uh, atheism. Really, atheism and both of these do need criticism. But the problem is we do not have enough criticism of both. We either have criticism too much of the one or criticism too much of the other. Why don't we just keep a life balanced, keep the earth happy and just relax and stop your fighting and your bickering. Thank you very much for watching.